She said, so for me, because she, she has apologized for the other comments, for two of the because, comments. Well, she also had a lot of pressure to apologize. Um, but she did apologize. So for the comment she said was, so for me, I want to talk about the political influence in this country that says it is okay for people to push for allegiance to a foreign country. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask, why is it okay for me to talk about the influence of the NRA, of fossil fuel industries, or big pharma, and not talk about a powerful lobby that is influencing policy? That's what she said. And people say that that is anti-Semitic. Um, when Can I just we had really Barry, quick? no, let me just oh. finish. When um, we had Barry, Wein Omar has never that. suggested no. that Israel does not have the right but to can exist. I say what she has said? So to yeah. me, me um, it finish. seems to me that Republicans are trying to use this as a wedge issue. I'm really not. And I think that not you. Um, not talking about you. You know, this selective outrage um, is no. is kind of crazy because I don't think that the Republicans have moral high ground here. But it seems like Democrats are upset too. I think that Kevin though. McCarthy has used this, this anti, these anti-Semitic tropes. I think that Jim Jordan just recently yes. and I, you know, I, tweeted I guess, this. Uh, against Tom Steyer. Against, and right. remember that Ilhan um, Omar in the West uh, Virginia Republican Party just had this huge poster superimposed with her face with 9-11 terrorists. And I haven't heard any outrage about that coming from the Republican Party. You know? And I will tell you, I'm comfortable with me speaking now. So, but, yes. uh, are we comfortable with me rebutting now? Yes. yes. Okay. I take this very personally. I, I, I would go so far as to say I, I probably verge on being a Zionist as well. But I will say that I don't have family that is Jewish, but Joe Lieberman and Hadassah Lieberman are my family. Yeah. And I take the hate crimes rising in this country incredibly seriously, and I think what's happening in Europe is really scary. And I'm sorry if I'm getting emotional, right. but right. the idea that this is politicized, I'm really not, I was very nervous to talk about this on the show because I thought it would become politicized, and it really shouldn't be. On both sides, it should be called out. Right. Mm -hmm. And just because I don't technically have Jewish family that are blood related to me, it doesn't mean I don't take this as seriously, and it is very dangerous. Very dangerous, and I think we all collectively as Americans on both sides, and what Ilhan Omar is saying is very scary to me, and it's very scary to a lot of people, and I don't think you have to be Jewish to recognize I'm tired of the selective outrage, I and I hope that we have a joint resolution, outrage. perhaps, from Republicans okay. and, and from the Democrats. I would be in favor of a joint resolution, because our Constitution... I, I'm sorry, I gotta push excuse back me, hard uh, on uh, this. You can push back after I'm finished speaking. The Constitution Actually, protects freedom of the press. I think okay. what you said was just straight propaganda, just so we're clear. I'm well, sorry. Well, if the law is propaganda, I'm sorry. It is then not, I'm sorry. They're not for, so to say that's yeah. under the freedom of speech, I can't get again. I, here's what I would tell you. I would, wait, let her do it. The Obama administration in tw this happened in 2010, is what you're talking I, about. My dad right? was ambassador right. to China at the time I was living there, and I remember it was so awful for the embassy because spies that were working over there, their names were released and put out to the public, and that puts their lives at risk. 2010 truly are about celebrating journalism and the work that journalists and political commentators do. This one is, do. too. You this saying, one are is, you, too. Are, are, you, are, you, are you a journalist? I you consider just, myself. Are, I have okay, a journalism so degree. I was just asking. I consider myself a journalist. I'm just asking. Absolutely. I'm just asking. I understand what you're saying. I'm just saying. The pause line for what, I mean, again, like, how is the Trump administration a values-driven administration? I mean, we have... talking about being values in a lot of times in reference to being pro-life, which I assume those, you said I don't you were see, at one point in time I don't see the values in that administration with Rob Porter beating... Oh. beating. I know, but val, val, in the political term of what it means is mm -hmm. being valuing life. That is a... It is an old term that's been used no, in politics. No, no, Megan, start that's not with true. With the Trump administration. Values-driven means not only being pro-life, it means being pro um, uh, marriage. It means being pro having good pro values. Compassion. It means pro, pro compassion, service. pro empathy. You know exactly, pro empathy. There's so many things it's that go into It's not only about uh, value pro life. life. And the bottom line is, this administration is not a values driven administration. You have it's too early. people it's beating so each other's no, wives. No, if you're a liberal, obviously you have certain problems with Mike Pence. Obviously, like we we see the world through very different veneers. But I think sort of why am I being around? I just assumed you were because that's you're not very a great assumption. Say, but the word assume. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he speaks. I think he speaks like the average, the average American who is sick of being told what to do. I mean, the analysis of Donald I Trump's language and how he. I think the average American speaks he... much better than Donald Trump does, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Because, listen, I feel you know. I know we have to move on. Ninety percent in taxes Iceland. on your tax form. No, on but your 
your tax Canadian. form. On your tax form, I think it's dangerous. I it's just told dangerous. you several countries what about that do it. Countries? But I'm sorry. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Everybody, everybody. God bless you. New poll came out. You've got 54 percent that aren't in favor of of players kneeling during the national anthem. I come from a military family, so I, I fall in that camp. That poll, Abby, is that 83% of African Americans, a huge component of Nike, are in support of Kaepernick, are also in support of this Nike ad, and you have half of the country that will continue to buy. In fact, I'm gonna go out and buy some more Nike stuff. So I, I think the bottom line is... And that means you've battered me. Mm -hmm. You've assaulted oh, me. So you're so, blaming so the so woman in this very so you're so kid. So, so that, that White House intern I'm, I'm should be arrested what, for battery. I'm, I'm telling you what the law is. So she sh we should get her arrested what, for battery. I'm telling battery. you what the law is. Clearly, so I mean, that is exactly... No, I'm, I'm telling you what the law is. Okay, hold on. Finish the... So I'm this I'm telling is you, the lawyer. I'm so telling you what the law is. You better arrest her. I mean, you better go arrest her for battery. Stop, Megan. Go ahead. I think what's terrible is that... The most outrageous, the most absurd... But aren't you taking it even further than what she took it? She's asking the question. She's... And isn't that question legitimate? Do you know what the... The Democratic Party it. should make this their platform. They should they ask are. that question. They, it will be on good, the platform. Good luck. Good what luck. What can I say? Be the party of late-term abortion. I the party I of infanticide. Let me finish, please. I need to push back on that. On the because, Ben Sass as, born alive abortion survivor. Yeah, I thought but, yeah. you were pro-life like me. I am. And that's why I need to push back on it. Because I so think... So you think a baby born at the, from okay, a botched her, abortion her, should be put down her, this is like a dog or a cat. This is, this is why I need to push back on it. This is why I need it's to push back. Is, so it's those something babies should so just be left to die on a table. Gonna be able it's to tell it's her something that's so extremely rare that it basically it's never not, happens. It's not rare, in fact. Because my, my, my sister-in-law is an OBGYN and also Catholic, so it's something that we talk about a lot. So even though and it's, it's rare in the times me. that it happened, it should happen. So it should we happen. don't need a new law for this, which is why I think a lot of the Democrats voted then against why it. why did this cause so much controversy? Because it's already required to provide medical care to infants born alive, which is the Born Alive Infant Protection Act. So this bill requires... Saying that that all, this bill also required that all babies born alive be immediately transferred to a hospital, which my understanding is it's not always safe for a newborn. And passing this bill would impose legal and criminal penalties on doctors who don't comply with that. Yes, the, the, doctors, the doctors who would not provide medical care for an aborted so child who survived. I think that doctor of a larger strategy to pay. Thank you. That doctor should this be punished. By the way, we, Michelle Obama made this amazing speech at the D uh, Democratic convention that even Republicans conceded that it was amazing. Yeah, and the it one didn't that Melania help. copied? Yeah, so that one. <laughs> no, that's a different one. But I'm just saying that even they couldn't garner up the vote. Mm -hmm. um, on a personal note, I thought it was... Uh, if a, that just, would be the crime? Lying. If he lied to Mueller Collusion. in a statement about not knowing about oh, WikiLeaks. Perjury? And, well, yeah. I mean, I think that's where the trouble would be in that, in that moment, right? Because he would be dishonest about not knowing about WikiLeaks. Mm -hmm. The president. Yeah. Is that not a problem? I think it could be. Why do you shrug your shoulders? So like you that? you can lie you can lie to the federal <laughs> prosecutor and it's not well no it, it could be but I mean on the scale of one to ten of lies I mean he's a liar. Well yeah we know that. I, I don't know we know he's a liar yeah, but, but I was like prove it. he's elected president and I care about family values. A I man mean, that cannot be loyal but, to his well, wife can't they, be loyal to his, Americans. His, they can't his, be loyal to this country. I'm sorry. He's if this, if this, I, I want to address something you said yesterday, Megan. You said that I implied that. All Trump um, voters are racist or, or misogynistic. And, and can we put it in context? You said sure. when Hillary won, and you're, yeah. it comforts you that she won the popular vote because that means that there not everyone is uh, agrees with otherisms. Not everyone is racist. Mm -hmm. Not everything. And no, what I, thought, I said was. Um, I feel better that she won the popular vote because that tells me that the majority of Americans understand that racism is wrong, that otherism is wrong, and that a woman can lead. Understanding that racism is wrong, I interpret it as saying that they're racist. Yeah, but, but let me, let me, let no, me. Can I ask you a question? Wait, Do you no, no, think no. all let me, let me, are, let me okay. finish my thought. He says that he can grab women by the vagina. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. So when people hear that and look the other way, and not only look the other way, but vote for him, regardless of their personal motivation, whether it be race, whether it be personal financial gain, I think you're somewhat complicit in that because you don't have to be a racist to, you don't have to be a racist to allow racism to flourish. You know what I mean? You don't, well, but you don't, you don't have to be a bigot to, um, enable bigotry. You don't have to be a racist to allow racism to flourish. That, that was my point. Yeah, got it. That was my point.
Is it clear? Is it clear about? I do think, though, if someone found out that one of the hosts on this show was going home every night burning an American flag, we might not have a job because at the end of the day, there is a corporation and there's an audience and there's money involved. If you go home and, there, and you burn your difference. flag, this company cannot, cannot. And no one's doing fire, that. It's fire just fire you example. for that. They cannot no, fire no, you. No, they not. cannot. I, I, I got, a leak is. Dis, uh, is when you are a government official, exactly in my, in my opinion, I mean, but maybe the audience does it, and maybe our viewers don't. Uh, the bottom line is... The other thing is the dossier, <laughs> you say that the dossier is completely unproven, but didn't it we is. now find out that Michael Cohen was in fact in Prague when he said he was not in that the dossier? The was paid by Donald Trump's political enemies, which he didn't reveal when he brought it to Donald Trump, and there's a bunch of salacious, disgusting information in it that is being sent out there like that it's real. That same company was hired by the Republicans yeah. first. No, but no, yeah. first of all, girl. she is being physically intimidated by a group of men. I have been on the other side of this. Let me trust you. You can you can make faces all you want. I, it's serious. I thought she was Gabby more aggressive Giffords, than they were. Gabby Giffords. I will say that. Uh, the, uh, my understanding, and I'm not a lawyer, is that it's a pause so we can vet people more accurately mm -hmm. before they come mm -hmm. into this country. You're not banning people from well, coming no, into the country you completely. Are, you are right. also banning. But when people are coming They're into the airport, to are that. they automatically sent back now? Yeah. Without so, there's, 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 people in the, there's people in the audience shaking their head no. To me. Immigration is fine, but it has so to John be legal. So John Roberts voted illegally? No, no. I don't understand no. what you're saying. You're saying you're, you're, saying saying you're not saying, voting no. legally you're on the Supreme that, Court. You're saying the president is a hardliner, and that's fine. I, if you're a hardliner, you know, that's fine. But the president cannot use his, should abuse not. his, should not well, abuse his Court power. Just said he didn't. Let me finish. I, the president cannot abuse his power. We talked a lot in this segment. Okay. We'll try to show you the more the president is using these children at the border as pawns. It is does immoral. It is, yes, he does. It is immoral. If it is in Christian. It, it is it. ugly. It is child abuse. It's a human rights abuse. And he should be ashamed of himself. Not. And people that support him should be ashamed of themselves. I'll be paying our e equal fair share into NATO. And I don't, I don't have a problem. Oh, thank you very much. Well, but the problem with it is that NATO does have a shared budget to which each member yes. makes contributions based on the size, size of, of the economy. It's on yes. the GDP. So the, wait a second. So the United but States has the, the biggest economy. Yes. But there is. So, I'm sorry. Let me say. No. Let me say something, Sarah. No. Let me finish. No, let me finish because that talk Trump? that what I was just saying about Walmart I'm just people. trying to say. I told you we the bell. Because we're sitting here. If you're all talking at once, I'm going to go to break. I'm going to give you the last word. That's why we needed the bell. We don't need the bell. Shut up with the bell. I don't oh, understand it with the bell. Go ahead. Megan. I don't understand why we're not trying to understand. I don't know what's happening. And I assume that this table agrees that Ob if, because Obama made the Iran deal, that it's okay for Trump to go speak to Iran. Because right I now. trust President Obama much more than I will ever trust President Trump. He's a smart person. He's reasoned. He has the backing of smart people. That's you can't Iran even is, compare these Iran presidencies. I know you hate Trump. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you want him impeached. I got it. You're but I want to nice. ask you a question. I'm not being nice. I want to ask you a question. When you say I hate him, you're being nice. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Let's not get a cheap applause line because I would rather not be do like the politician. Do whatever you want, okay? The Congress. audience can do what they want. Thank you. Isn't it true that Trump manufactured <laughs> this nightmare? Isn't it true that yes. Trump started yeah, this? Honey, it's it's all let let, let finish. me finish. Oh my God. I haven't even Isn't it? But my, my yeah. only question is, again, I, I know it's simple-minded. He said $17 million. He said a year and a half. Yeah. He has a whole bunch of professionals. Maybe it's a million dollar and, per, and, 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 per and, indictment. And, well, but, but if indictment. you look at what they're doing, <laughs> look. They, <laughs> let me give you an example. Um. When was he concerned about the Ukraine? Really? Look, that's really, kind of really new. Sunny. Really so sunny? about Trump. Yeah. Trump has actually been Trump tougher on Ukraine it? than President Obama was. The first thing he did with Russia when he got into office was arm the Ukrainians and put sanctions on Russia as it relates to Ukraine. No, but Listen, the other thing, point, guys, the point I'm trying to make, if you want to talk about the Mueller investigation, let's have that, that talk, mm -hmm. and, the, and the dealings that Trump had with Russians before he got into office. Yeah. But if you want to talk about actual diplomacy and mm -hmm. things that are happening mm -hmm. with Russia, that is a very different thing. I would love for this table, not Megan so included, you, she's different, you really but to believe give him that's why he canceled that something. meeting? You believe he canceled well, the meeting because he's so concerned about well, the I can Ukrainian tell you, soldiers? I can tell you, because I talked to my dad who lives in Moscow and deals mm -hmm. with this every single day, that there was they were already figuring this out before he decided to cancel it. They were uh -huh. already making that decision. So really? what okay, drives listen, me nuts are cable pundits that think they know everything about what's going on behind closed doors and diplomacy mm -hmm. and come out on television and, and give facts that are actually inaccurate. But when I'm actually talking to people that are in those discussions and know what's going on. Listen, Abby, your dad was not in the alone time that 
Trump had with Putin in Helsinki. <laughs> Nobody was. Anna, it was, it was Trump. The Helsinki Act happened because of my father. It had nothing to do with Obama, and let's keep that yeah. very but he, straight. But he did impose no, sanctions no, it, as well. No, no, I'm sorry. Well, well, Republicans are to blame for the things that she said last week, and when she said that the country is 10% away from garbage. You know, you know what I thought about when she what said that? that? I mean? thought. Of, just listen to it. She said that we are basically as close as you can possibly get to, to being garbage. I thought about that World War II veteran that we had in our audience a few weeks ago, the sacrifices he's made it's not for not calling us. him garbage. But I'm Don't telling go you, there. I'm telling you what I thought in yeah. that moment, and that's well, what this table's you. about. We all abuse. I thought about the ability for us to sit here and do what we do. Do you think that he feels that this country is 10% well, away from being garbage? Know. You know, I think the Democratic Party should use her as their spokesperson. They should make her ideas the platform. She is the greatest gift to Republicans. Just how Trump has been okay, to the Democrats. Okay, can I just say one? You want to talk about this country being 10% away from garbage? By all means, if that's where the Democrats are going to go, not, and it's no clear that's where the Democrats are there. The and she like has the biggest, one of the biggest followers in the Democratic Party We need that Party quote right in now. context, actually. I'd like that quote in context. Okay, we're going to have to take a break. Just one thing. Um, when I talked, when we talked about AOC, um, and the the quote that she talked about 10% yeah. uh, better than garbage. She was discussing, to put it in context, she was discussing about uh, civil rights and people of color. And what she said altogether was, I think all of these things sound radical compared to where we are in terms of the rights of minorities. But where we are is not a good thing. And this idea of like 10% better than garbage, it shouldn't be what we settle for. So that's very different but again, than again, saying that the United States. Again, is you know what? Right. Again, you know, if this is if this is the rhetoric that the left wants to have, by all means, I can. I tell do you, want. I do want then that's civil fine, rights but you for know people what? of color. I think but that we're in a very bad place. Everyone wants that. Everyone wants that. Everyone wants that. Yeah. But I think not everyone wants that, Abby. Well, everyone at this table wants yeah, that. Yeah, everybody. Uh, what should be most fearful of <laughs> is the fact that our president is still using his personal phone. Well, I care about that okay, much more than right. I care that's about. But you guys chose this, and that's why we're talking about. I think it's choose it. It's in the news. I think it's very important. No, no, actually. I don't think that we this can would not be the this. number one topic I would choose for this show today if given the opportunity. Oh, it's mine. Well, here's, Absolutely. Well, here's yeah. how Me this. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. You know. My Why does guess she is. Why does I'm, she not get a pass? I'm not saying she gets a I would pass, never but give her a pass. I'm not giving her a pass. But of all the things I was saying of, of Democrats that could be You're focused saying this on is right not now. That important. I, I just, I just said the greatest. This is a matter I, of national security. security. I just said the greatest yeah, threat to our democracy are the Russians that, and the Chinese trying yeah. to break all, into our emails, and that's exactly why I think across the board, Hillary was wrong. Right, all right, no, no, let's no, no, stop. No, hold on. You don't hold on. That hold on a second, please. Because it's, it's We're going to break. We'll be right back. It is ridiculous. So what Sonny is saying is 100% accurate. Maybe politically, it didn't. Did Megan just say what Sonny said is 100% accurate? Well, of course it is. You're a lawyer.